Hey everybody! Okay, so we're gonna start off with primer. I am using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my skin in the areas where I know that I get oily throughout the day. So basically just my T-zone and I'm even gonna do over my eyes. Um, okay, here we're just checking a little bit, making sure I have everything. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Laura Geller Cover Lock. I'm using a very small amount. I don't want this to be super heavy. It's everyday. It's an everyday look, so I just want it to be um, pretty natural. I want a really natural finish, covering my eyebrows, going over my eyes, just making sure everything's nice and smooth with my fingers. Um, let's see. And now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Concealer, and I am using the shade Medium 28. And I'm just going to start off with that under my eyes, down my nose, and just in the areas where I want to highlight. And I do also use this as a base or primer on my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and wet my um, beauty sponge. And I'm just going to blend all of this out, going out and expanding out into the temples and down the side of the nose. Um, and this is just to really brighten up the face and give some dimension um, to my facial features. Really just want to make sure everything's nicely blended and incorporated into my foundation. Okay, now I'm going in with a setting powder. I'm actually just using the e.l.f. HD powder. It's just a translucent powder. Um, it's what I had on hand, and I'm going in with a really soft, fluffy brush. Um, I do like to do baking occasionally, but because this is just every day, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to set my powder with um, that nice little brush there. All right, so going in with Huda Beauty. I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's really cute. Um, the colors are super pigmented. Um, so I'm taking that shade there. I'm going ahead and placing it right into my crease. I'm going to use this as a transition color. And as you can see, I'm using a really fluffy brush. And I'm actually going to use the same brush for pretty much the entire look. So um, this will really be a good way for you guys to see how you can use one brush for one entire look and just have it look really pretty and um, just blown out and gorgeous. So... On to the next thing. I'm going in with my Max Marty Pants um, palette, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to go in with this really cute um, peachy color. And again, I'm going right over the transition color and I'm actually going to bring it down onto the lid. And all I'm doing is I'm just blowing out and diffusing this color. I really just want a soft look up on the top lid. Um, I don't want anything super um, defined. I just want it to be really soft and blended. All right, so I'm taking it, the shimmery, it's kind of like a maroon color. It's got some shimmer, some sparkle in it. And I'm just taking this in the outer corner. As you can see, still really focusing on that crease. And I just wanted to give me a little bit of depth, a little bit of definition, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. We're just still, again, blending it out, blowing everything out. We really just want it to be a nice, soft look. Okay, going back into that Huda palette, I'm taking that um, kind of like berry, raspberry color, and I'm putting that all over my lid. This is a matte, um, and I do I do love to play around with different kinds of textures and finishes, so this is a really good way to do that. Um, I'm just placing that all over the lid, and then I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmery kind of pinky color, um, and I'm placing that pretty much all on the inner corner and I'm actually going to bring it up into the crease just in the innermost part of my eye. Now with this dark brown color here, I'm going to just use it to feather out the lash line and create um, a little bit of a liner and I'm using a pencil brush just to really smudge it out. I don't want a very clear line, I just want it to be nice and defined and diffused and I'm bringing it out past the lash line just to give me a little bit of length in my eye. Okay, and I'm going to use this really pretty highlighter. It's kind of got a um, goldish finish to it and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone. going to go back in with that peachy color just to blend everything in. So we get one really nice beautiful blending molding kind of finish. 
Okay, so now for my eyebrows, I do use MAC Dip Down. Um, it is an eyeliner, but I've been doing this for years since I worked for MAC. One of the girls uh, taught me that I could use this eyeliner as a brow gel, and I absolutely love it. I've been doing that for years. Um, I go back and forth between Anastasia, but I absolutely love the Dip Down color, and I love the way that it just stays on my brows for a really long time. So yeah, that's what I use. And I'm going in now with the Tetris um, eyeshadow that I was sent by Ipsy. Um, this came in my June bag. I know it's kind of late, but um, I've been wanting to try this color. It's a really pretty um, blue iridescent kind of like shiny sparkly blue color. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going in here and I'm going under the lash line. I'm going in really softly right now and I'm just diffusing it under the lash line um, kind of taking it a little bit further down not super tight but I really just want a nice smoked out um, lash line some of it got in my eyes it's kind of bothering me there and again I'm gonna pull out past the lash line again um, just to bring out some of that color and give me some more um, shape in my eye Okay, now here in this portion, I want you to just focus on the outer corner. I am putting a little bit more depth and a little bit more pressure into that and then bringing it very gently into the inner corner and pulling it out. And at this point, I believe my brush is wet. Um, I wanted to have a little bit more pigmentation there, so I went ahead and wet my brush, dipped it back into the shadow, and um, focused it right on that outer portion there. Okay, now we're going to do eyeliner. This is um, Frankie Rose eyeliner just in um, black. I'm tight lining here, so I'm going right into that waterline. And also bringing it down into the lashes a little bit so that it gives me that really nice um, smoky effect once I start blending out, which is what I'm doing here. And... I'm, there you can see that I'm actually bringing it down a little further into the lashes, a little further past the lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my mascara, and um, I love a lot of mascara. This is the Essence Extreme Mascara. Um, I love loading up on this stuff. Um, it was pretty cheap. I got it at Ulta for like $2.99, and honestly, I've been having a pretty good time with it. And you can layer it up. It doesn't cake up on you. Okay, so I'm just going to bronze up. Um, I think I'm using I'm using an e.l.f. bronzer. Let me see. It is the e.l.f. bronzer in Cool. Um, this is just a really good bronzer. I think it, it works perfectly for my skin tone. I haven't had any issues with it. I love the way it goes on, and it's pretty affordable. So, yeah, I'm just bronzing on my face here. I like to... Basically just go in all the areas I would contour, a little bit on the side of my nose. And then I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow from MAC. It's called Firecracker. I'm going to wet my brush first before I pick it up. I'm going to just tap my brush right into it, pick up, pick up some product. Looks like a lot. And then instead of sweeping, I'm actually going to do a tapping motion. And this is just going to give me more of a natural finish. It looks almost like a stain when I do it this way. And what I love about this color is that it does have a little bit of iridescence to it. So it does give a slight highlight. Um, and it's just really pretty. It's super cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of that highlighter from that um, MAC palette, the Smarty Pants palette, right on top of that. Then I'm going to just really quickly, this, is, this look does not require any kind of precision, nothing like that. It's super easy. Just go in with that brush. Highlight the areas that you want really quickly. Just dust it right over. I'm going back in with some mascara. And at this point, I had kind of let my mascara dry. So what I'm doing now is once it, it's kind of tied, uh, sorry, not tied down. It's kind of dried down a little bit. I'm going back in with that brush and really just getting in there with that product and really defining the lashes. Lower lashes, of course, we can't forget those. 
Again, if you guys want to see anything else in detail, um, videos on how I specifically do my mascara, eyebrows, whatever, please go ahead and comment below. Um, I'm happy to show you guys anything. It's been a long time since I've made videos, but I'm really excited to get back into it. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this um, MAC lipstick. This was a special edition. It's called Wagasa Twirl. Um, they actually had this 40% off at the store, so I picked it up for 11 bucks. It was awesome. Oh, and then the ColourPop lip gloss, which I don't have on hand, so I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's just a pretty, really pretty sparkly pink. Any sparkly pink eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, gloss will do, so... Yeah, this is the look, you guys. I hope you like it. I've been having so much fun with it. It's just a really great look for summertime. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching! <laughs>